what's up camp folks all right so we have made it hold on let me tilt you guys up just a little bit we have made it to one of my secret pines that have some good bluegills in here and today we are just keeping it simple we have a small cork a little small float a number six eagle claw hook and i'm gonna show you the new reel and rod i got and i'm loving this setup we have a daiwa revos 1000 i think i'm saying this right and we also have a kuma um silo i could be saying that wrong correct me if correct me if i'm if i'm wrong but just the ultimate like this is just gives me like country vibes like you know like everyone has a granddad or a dad that has a similar setup to this for bluegill and the line that we're using our four pound high vis uh gold by strand and a box of night crawlers that's it it's winter time this fishing is probably going to be a little tough but hey bluegills are so much fun and catching them on light gear is even more fun so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video let's see if we can catch a couple fish and look i want to show y'all something look look at that dock <laughs> it's literally falling apart it's kind of sketchy so <laughs> let's hope we don't fall in because i don't got my waders on yeah all right let's try to catch some fish all right so as you can see we're about to get on this sketchy dock oh. be careful on this thing here this thing is literally about to fall any moment <laughs> i bet we could probably drop down and catch a fish there but it's not actually that cold back here so i'm thinking these fish might be a little bit more active on this side with the with uh in the sun because that's heating up the water a lot heating up but we're gonna see so this is a setup very very simple that i like i grew up pretty much when i would bluegill fish with my dad we would just use small hooks no weight and just a worm and just let it naturally fall and that triggers you know inactive bluegill because one the bait is falling natural you know versus the weight that natural fall fires them up every time so we're gonna, we're gonna start off with the whole night crawl i know it's a bit much this dude kind of frozen a little bit but you want to have a long enough leader so this dude falls natural and when he's falling slow it triggers the fish to eat so we're going to start off fishing about this deep we might change the depth a little later we're gonna make a cast out there. I feel like we can catch one just like dropping it down in the middle of this dock. We're gonna make a cast out there. We're gonna see. Yeah. So fishing close, close as you can to the cover on these like cold days is gonna be key. So there's one, there's a bite right there. I'm gonna give him a second to take it. Ah, uh, he got off. Let's see. He got off. Let's see how much of the worm he got. That was a big piece of worm. Let's see. Yep, he got everything but the hook. <laughs> he got everything but the hook. Not even a dog on sniff. There's one. There's a bite. He's taking it. He's taking. He's picking at it. I'm gonna take it back down, dude. Uh, there he is. Got him. Got him. We got the first gill, y'all. That's fine, like a good one, too. Is that a crappie? No, that's a bluegill. <laughs> ah, bit shy. Bit shy. Bit shy. We're gonna let this dude go. We're we gonna let the first gill go. I would keep that one, but we don't let that one go. That's the first fish. All right. Fish mark. I will give him that. There he is. Got him. Got that one. We got us one, Ken, folks. We finally got our first gill. Well, second one. Oh, that's a good one. That's an eater there. Took him up. No! god dog it all right just to give you guys kind of like a recap of what's going on right now as you can see it is slow <laughs> we've caught three 
We landed three. We had one get off. A real good one get off. Just been slow. Slow, slow day. It's actually Christmas Eve. And I thought it would have been slow, but I thought maybe if, you know, we find one fish, I thought, you know, they would have been stacked up. Sorry, I keep looking back. It's just that my float is out there and any given moment, they could grab it. But just giving guys like a little mid update right now. I know we started this video a lot earlier, a lot, a lot earlier. And we only got two fish to show for it right now. We still gonna make this a catch, clean, and cook. Hey, if we only clean the two bluegills, I'm sorry. Yo. Got him. That's a good one, too. The moment I turn this off, y'all, we get one. That's a good one, too. It is a good one. Come on, dude. Good gill. There we go. That's a good gill. Oh, look at that. Pretty gill there, baby. We're actually recording, too. Look at that, dude. Colorful. That's a colorful gill there. He's going to make good table fare and techniques today. All right. We'll drop him down here in the water. It's a worm there and some niblet. Goes a long way, doesn't it? We had to let that fish eat it. We had to let that, let that fish hold that cork down for a long time. And what I think is happening since it's a lot colder they're not feeding as much when they do feed i think they're really eating it but you have to give them time to eat it i don't think they're just going to eat it and spit it out you know but i could be wrong so we're going to wait i'm going to wait this we're just going to wait them out we're going to throw the bait out there give the fish some time Got him. That's a good one. That's another good gill. <sighs> Caught this one out in the open. That's another good gill. <sighs> big boy, big girl. That's another good one. There's two. <clears throat> Got another one, guys. Another good one. Woo! <laughs> That one is full of something. Yeah, I changed my depth and immediately got and immediately got bit. Look at that. Goodness gracious, that's a good. That's a fat fish, yeah. There's one. Got him. Got him. That's a good one too. That's a good one. Oh god, that's a real good one. That's a real good fish. That's the biggest one. No. There we go. Yeah. That's a real good one there. Look at that one. Real good gill. My hands are freezing. That's a good gill, y'all. We got another one. Good one. Oh, he ran in that other line. That's a good one. That's a big gear, man. Oh, big old gear. All in my line. He ran all in my other line. That's okay. That's all right. Hey, we got us another one. All right, real quick. Battery's about to die. We got some fish. Bear's about to die. The bite is slowly picked up right when it's like freezing cold. We'll do some more talking on the next day. I'm gonna let these bad boys sit on ice. We may catch a couple few. My GoPro is acting funny, acting funny. My batteries are charged, but it won't stay on. I don't know, maybe it got too cold. But I'll see you guys on the next day. We got some fish. Let's go, baby. Catch, clean, cook is on the way. All right, y'all, so it is the next day. These fish have been sitting on ice. Y'all don't mind it, that's my dog running around. You might see her. There she is. But anyway, it's the next day. We've been letting these fish sit on ice. We actually went fishing on Christmas Eve. This is the day after Christmas. This is Monday, so hopefully you'll be seeing this video. Tonight is actually 
It's 9 15, so hopefully, we'll be seeing this video by 6 o'clock tonight on this day. Anyway, we're gonna fillet a couple fish up. Yesterday was Christmas. I just want to give a big shout out to Country Girl. She got your boy a Rapala electric cordless knife, and I'm in love with this thing. All right, so my camera just died, so we're gonna finish this part on the phone. So, back to what I was saying. Yesterday was Christmas Day, and Country Girl, shout out to you. She got your boy a cordless Rapala fillet knife. I also got like this little standard one. So we're going to clean up a couple of these fish and we're going to fry a few up. And we're going to try to get this video up by today. Like I said, today is Monday, day after Christmas. We're going to try to have this video up by six o'clock at night. So we already cleaned a bunch. I really like this knife. I haven't got great with it, but with like the six or seven fish I'm done, I think it wouldn't, be, it wouldn't take me too long to learn how to master this. I've been using these all my life, but now we got this. If you guys want to see like a, I don't know, like a review on this, let me know because I'm loving this. Like, I'm probably just going to be like pulling, cleaning fish out of the truck or the bed, dumping them back in the lake. This is going to make life so much simple. Anyway, let's start cleaning fish. Get this to the side. Now, no extra at this. So. I use this to kind of like take the rib cage out and like skin them. I could do it with that knife, but like I said, I haven't got that skill with that knife. So I'm doing what makes what feels most comfortable. God, come on. This knife does not like to cut through bones. And it's really not supposed to. So we've got the fish that we're going to cook. We already put majority of them up. I think we had, I don't know, I think we had like maybe 16, 16-ish fish, 16 bluegills. And here's some of the flays. Me and my mom, we're gonna eat a, eat a few fish. But before we fry these up, I just wanna say, uh, I hope you guys had a great Christmas. I don't know if I said this yet. And I hope you got everything you asked for. And yeah, and I hope you got some new fishing gear and you can go out and go fishing. Something that I stumbled upon watching someone else's video, Hook City. If you, uh, if you guys that like watching Panthers videos, that's another dude that makes amazing crappy videos, him and his dad. But Fishing Can, I was watching, I think, it was like his bluegill video, and he fried the fish and then he put like some tasty tangies on, on it after. I can't find that stuff. So, we got some ranch season, spicy kind. And I did that for my coworkers at work. I had took some crap in, I fried them some fish before we got off for work. And, goodness gracious, this stuff is good. I highly recommend you guys doing this. So, we just got some yellow cornmeal in a little box. I was gonna do a, a, a a mustard uh, binder, but nah, we're not gonna do that today. I was going to, but then I changed my mind. Uh, what's in here, if you guys that may be wondering, just some yellow cornmeal, some Creole seasoning, and maybe a little bit of garlic pepper, and that's it. So we're gonna take our fish fillets, and dump them here in the bag. So I'm gonna show you guys a bluegill fillet. But people say you can't fillet bluegills. I mean, they're not the biggest fillets, but that's gonna be the best fish you ever had because bluegill, they get like crispy. And my mom, she doesn't really like crap because they get like flaky and stuff. My mom, was a, she loves bluegill. But look at that, that's a bluegill fillet. Those, these weren't massive. So that was about the size of my hand like this. But it's good for me, it'll be good for you. I know everyone like get worked up and everybody wanna see like big fish and stuff, but hey. Sometimes you gotta make do with what you catch. And I want some good bluegills. I'm big enough to play. 
Just throw them in the box, shake them around a good little bit. Turn your skillet on. You know we cooking fish in the cast iron skillet. That's the only way to do it. If you're not frying your fish in the cast iron skillet, you better be frying it in a fry in a fry daddy. That's it. That's all I'ma say. That's, that's all I'ma say now. You know, I'm from the south, from the country. Everyone has a cast iron skillet. Everyone. If you don't got you one, go get you one. You're missing out. Alright, so got these fish coated. Now, I, me personally, I had already dry, dry that fish off too. That's another major thing. Make sure you dry your fish off before you do that. But me, I don't like my fish like heavily, heavily coated. Um, usually when you do that, you, you'll mess your grease up like that. You have to keep scooping it out, all that extra stuff. I like my fish kind of like lightly coated. And sometimes I'll even do like half and half. I'll do like half flour, half cornmeal. I forgot what they call it. It's a, it's a name for it, but yeah. So, while this grease is heating up, I will, we're just pretty much gonna wait till this grease heat up so we can eat some fish. All right, Kim, folks, grease is ready. These fish going for their last swim. That's going to be good right there. Drip. Look at y'all. That ain't good. I don't know what it is. Alright, so. I know this video is kind of like a little bit everywhere. Still frying fish. I know you guys want to see me eat it. I know you guys want to see me eat it. Let's go with some of the fish going to cook. We're going to take some of this. Spicy ranch, spicy ranch seasoning. We're just gonna dust it on top. Not that much. Dust them on top like that. Um, look at that. Look at that. Bluegill fillets are fantastic. You can eat them for dinner. This would even be like a great appetizer, you know, like football games or something. Look at that. This ought to be illegal how good this is. Look at that. Look at that. I'm good stuff right now. That's my dog barking. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know this video a little bit everywhere. But like I said, you're watching this video, and it's the day after Christmas, so we're gonna try to have this edited, so. I'm kinda rushing it. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. But remember, even though it's winter time, we still go out and go catch fish. Go outside, enjoy the outdoors, and even though I know it can be cold, even if you just go out for an hour or two, go to your local pond, keep fishing. That's what you wanna do. But until next time, Ken folks, catch the boy pass. I'm done.